Okay, Leo. When I did your yearlies, the card for this month, June, was death. Now, death uh, means transformation. So there's major transformations going on in your life at the moment. Um, the, the dawn of a new day is approaching though, okay? So there's big, big changes going on. There's the, the end of the old rule. There's the end of the old ways. Death takes a long, it's not like a towel that comes in really quick. You know what is ending in your life here. And if you don't, you'll soon know, okay? So there's big transformations. Um, it's a cycle of life. It's inevitable. Everything must come to an eventual end and there's always the brand new start and the rising afterwards, okay? So it could be end to bad habits, could be end to, to anything, okay? You know exactly what it is. All right, so we're going to have a look at the Power Thought by Louise Hay and see if we can get some clarification. All right. So clarification, please, for the star sign of Leo for June. Whoa. <laughs> All right, Leo, you got a lot to say. Okay, it's probably this big transformation that's coming on here. Every thought I think is creating my future. I release the past and forgive everyone. I trust my inner wisdom. And I am willing to change. Now I'll read that one. I am willing to release old negative beliefs. They are only thoughts that stand in my way. My new thoughts are positive and fulfilling. Okay. So thoughts seem to be a big thing on, on your mind at the moment uh, to do with the past. Um, and it might be time to turn to your intuition here to help you heal through this transformation that's going on here okay check in with yourself and see how you're feeling about it if you find that you're really a really negative place that you're really going over it and over again in a state where you're getting to a really negative place a really good thing that uh, you could do is um, check out youtube uh, meditation videos uh, go to yoga some form of mindfulness of any kind um, that will get your mind out of this repetitive um, thought processes that might be keeping you in a negative thought patterns about the past. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. And we're also going to have a look at your abundance, beautiful Leo. So let's see what advice Leo has for abundance. Raise or promotion. Congratulations, it says. An increase in your abundance flow awaits you as a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. Thank you, great spirit. Thank you so much. Okay, so as a result of your positive focus. Okay, it's time to have a look at exactly how you're thinking about things. Are you projecting negativity into the future, expecting the same outcome from the past? Okay. Start to envision nothing but bounty and beauty in your future. Okay. Um, and it's also based on divine guidance. So spirit's trying to talk to you in um, the ways that spirit talks. And the spirit talks quite subtly. It's quite symbolic. It's the whispers. It's the animal symbol you might see. It's the coincidence. It's the seeing someone that looks like somebody else or the running into somebody you haven't seen for a while or that conversation that sparks that interest, okay? Your intuition is trying to tell you, okay, that a raise or promotion is in the future. You've just got to get your thoughts, seeing it, believing it. Okay, um, we'll also have a look at your health here. Okay, Leo health. And I do know a Leo that's suffering quite badly from health issues. So hopefully this will help. Stretch. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for staying by my side and motivating me to take excellent care of myself 
in all ways. Now you can see the child in this. Now, um, children, animals, dogs, that sort of thing, cats, you see them do it all the time, stretch. Um, when they get up, a dog, when it gets up from sleep, it really stretches out its back. Children, when they play, they stretch and extend and roll and move their bodies in ways that as we get older, we tend to not do so much. The best time to stretch is first thing in the morning after our muscles have been in a pretty sedentary state while we sleep. I don't know how much time you've got in the morning, but it just takes moments. Literally when you wake up, and I remember as a child I used to do this, and you'd put your arms right above your head, and it was just like, oh, that felt so good, that beautiful stretch, okay? It could also be tight if you just that simple little stretch just to get the energy and the lymph and the blood circulating right through and then just pop out of bed. Yeah, so if you find you've been sitting for a length of time and just stretch your arms out or get up and move your neck and feel it all loosen up, okay? Yoga, of course, Pilates, any of those stretching modalities, sounds like it's going to be wonderful for you guys. Okay, let's get into the tarot. What else advice have we got for the beautiful Leos, please, for June? Beautiful Leo. And death's the central card, so transformation. What advice have you got for that transformational card in the middle here, please? Death. Hmm. The lovers and the nine of cups. Could be the end of a relationships here. It could be the end of a friendship. Um, it could be the end of a business partnership. Okay, um, or as I said, the transformation of a relationship, a business partnership, a friendship leading to fulfillment, personal, emotional fulfillment. It's going to go one way or the other. It's going to be improvement or it's going to be the ending, but it's going to be a transformation of some kind in a partnership. Okay. Ace of Swords, original passionate idea. You might have a really good idea for that work that you might want to give a go. Um, get, get everything in order. Make sure you have a look at everything. Uh, check in with your mind and I say go for it. It looks like the universe wants to give this to you, okay? Wants to give you this raise or promotion. They want your fortune to increase here. Um, the wheel of fortune when there's a downturn as a wheel always does turn there's always the eventual upturn okay so it looks like you're about to have an upturn of finances come your way here uh, with this idea you've got okay uh, this could be yourself you're quite um or aries and or sagittarius uh, this is a young individual, could be seen as a, a childlike person or a younger person that's just starting out in a brand new um, path. Um, that wand in his hand is inspiration, passionate inspiration. So you've got an idea behind you. You've got the passionate inspiration. You just might be starting off and not have all the knowledge that you need right now. It might be time to start to have a look at how you can make this idea work because it looks like it's really promising here. You're going to end up, look, over the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Pentacles. You're going to be very, very well off if you take this idea up. Okay, she's a person that has complete control over her material world. She's got her finances in order. She's got her home in order. Her clothes look great. She's got flowers in the garden, fruit from the trees, Everything around her is beautiful and thriving. So that's where you're heading, okay? All right, so just get those thoughts about what you think you deserve because you deserve the best, Leo, okay? All right, you're going to end up the star. So maybe you're actually thinking about getting out there and um, being a, a quite a natural artistic sign as you are, quite performance orientated. It looks like if you, you think about putting yourself out there in that regard, it's going to be very successful. Actors, musicians, singers, 
even tarot readers on YouTube, any type of putting your performance out there. I suppose it could be scenes of performance. Hey, it's entertainment. <laughs> You're going to be really successful. All right. So that original idea might have you checking inside. Good. Nothing wrong with being in a hermit position right now. Uh, you've got that uh, star in that cage. You're just waiting to let it out. Okay, there's the star. Look, there's the star. You've got the idea. You've got the wand in your hand. You're going inside. You're having a look. You're doing all the right things. This is great. Oh, look, the king and queen of pentacles. All right. Wow. <laughs> Divine. Absolute divine partnership here. Two people have got their finances organized. Two people have got the worldly plane organized. I'll put them this way actually because that's how I feel they need to be looking. They're looking happily at each other. Everything's swimmingly. Okay, so that's where you're going. Very happy partnership. Very good finances. Okay, so yes, change in partnerships. It looks like you're going to be in increasing your income to increase the status of yourself and your partner here. Queen of Swords, so you're willing to cut out any rubbish. Uh, you're standing in your truth. You're holding that original passionate idea firmly in your hand. You're asking people to come forward with information and anything they might be able to give you to, to help inspire you with this. Uh, but you're not putting up with false information of any kind. Uh, you're going for the prize here. You want to be the star. Um, quick um, communication might come about once you actually come out of hermetic mode. You've now gone to the night. You're holding that eight, that um, original idea aloft and you're racing in to take the prize, okay? The Knight of Swords doesn't dilly-dally. He flies in, okay? So make sure if when you're in the hermit mode, make sure you check all the information, tick your boxes, dot the I's, cross the T's, and then you'll be willing to race, you'll be waiting to race in and start this new project. Uh, you'll be able to manifest whatever you like into this world as long as your thoughts are in the right place. You seem to have all the resources you need at your disposal. Uh, it could also be um, to do with you deciding to transform this uh, relationship here. You're willing to do, a, um, do whatever it takes to improve on your finances. You're willing to learn. You're willing to educate yourself. Uh, you're willing to defend off anybody that um, might have a go at you for what you're trying to do here. You know what the your passionate spark is here. That's pretty much the page of wands fending everybody off saying, no, wait a second, I know what I'm doing here. You guys just don't have any idea this is my life, all right? There'll be an inevitable change, fast change. I think that fast change is you actually getting in control of your thoughts, releasing the past and moving towards this new financial goal. It, it will be difficult. You will end up burdened at the very end here, but this is the finality of it. There's a lot you need to put into place to get this going, okay? But you're on the home stretch. You're so darn close to home, okay? You're still holding them all. You're shouldering the burden. You're putting one foot in front of your other determinedly. You may not exactly see where you're going because of all these burdens in front of you, but hold on, Leo, you're so close. You'll be able to get home, put those burdens down, put your feet up and enjoy the bounty, okay? All right. And finally, yes, a new emotional start. It looks like a new emotional start in your relationship because either you or, or the person you're dealing with has sorted out their thoughts about finance, sorted out any issues they've had in the past. They've looked at their intuition They've been willing to change. They've been willing to learn and new emotional start, not just for you, but your partner. Okay. So congratulations, Leo. This is a great read. Get out there and get that raise or promotion. You deserve it. All right. So if you'd like to like, subscribe and hit that bell button to be informed of any new videos I post and bye for now.